Here at Quick Goal, our equipment is manufactured to the strictest goal industry and recreational equipment standards. Conditions of normal use and foreseeable abuses are analyzed. These tests not only ensure the safety of all involved, but also verify the quality of our product. A goal's design is visually checked for sharp edges that could cause injury for end users. Unlike other manufacturers, all Quick Goal products are manufactured using exact manufacturing specifications, right down to our factory installed warning and safety stickers. All Quick Goal anchors are in compliance to all ASTM standards. Beyond safe goal anchoring practices, it is also recommended that soccer nets manufactured to minimize unsafe climbing situations be installed. There is always a potential danger for unintended children or players to see a soccer goal as something to climb on. Smaller mesh netting helps prevent entrapment and discourages climbing and other misuses that can lead to serious injury. Entrapment tests are performed using recreational equipment standards to ensure that there are no potential areas for a child or adult to get a body part trapped in the goal frame. The first measuring instrument which is implemented represents a child's torso, the other, the head. If one item is able to pass through, so should the other. Templates in accordance with recreational equipment standards are used to detect situations where protruding components can cause injury. Mechanical testing is performed in compliance with American, Canadian, and European specifications. The pull test consists of two different tests, the vertical pull test and the horizontal pull test. The vertical test consists of vertically loading the center of the crossbar with 405 pounds for 60 to 70 seconds. A maximum of 3 eighths deformation is permitted 30 minutes after unloading the crossbar. For the horizontal pull test, a goal must not tip or slide when a 248 pound horizontal force is applied to the center of the crossbar for 60 to 70 seconds. After this time period, no fracture or visual damage should be present. The anchored swing test is performed to ensure the goal frame and anchoring system will withstand extreme abuse by uneducated users. The crossbar is vertically loaded with a 405 pound weight. The mass is then raised to an angle of 30 degrees. It then oscillates until stopping. Once again, no fracture or visual damage is permitted. Goals are also tested in the unanchored condition to verify passive safety characteristics. The ASTM swing test confirms the goal inherently provides at least a minimum level of resistance to overturning. 220 pounds of weight is hung from the center of the crossbar and allowed to swing through a 60 degree path. This action simulates two active children who are simultaneously on the crossbar. The goal must not overturn in order to pass the ASTM swing test. The balanced goal test is used to confirm a goal meets a minimum level of safety from both the upright and the face down positions. Minimizing the height from which the crossbar free falls minimizes the impact force of the overturning goal. Once a goal's design has passed all safety testing, final engineering documentation can be made, allowing the product to be manufactured and made available to the end user. For more information, please visit quickgoal.com.